Hi guys, welcome to my first episode of the Disney Movie Breakdown, where I act as a therapist or a counselor with the different characters in Disney movies and trying to analyze the situation, figure out what the problem is, and make suggestions on what would be in the best interest of the person's mental health. I will not be breaking down the movie minute by minute. If you've never seen the movie and you want to watch it beforehand, you can. Otherwise, I'm just going to make this as applicable as possible to what everyday people would experience with their own mental health symptoms and stuff like that. Mulan was an easy first choice for me. It's got to be one of my top favorite Disney movies ever. Mulan goes on this epic journey of self-exploration, challenging social and cultural norms, and even saving a whole country in the process. Let's take a look. Usually on the first day with a client, there is some sort of protocol list of things that I have to do for paperwork. Outside of that, one of the first questions I ask, walk me through your day. What's a typical day in the life of yourself? Like some of us, she was a little frantic this morning when her alarm went off. And much like everyone else, she's got a routine to her day, so it sounded like it started with some chores and feeding the animals. Many of us have some sort of routine or structure depending on our lifestyle. It can improve overall quality of life and help manage stress, even if it's just taking care of basic ADLs. As a counselor, I try to get a holistic picture of all my clients and a huge piece of that is the environment in which they grow up in their culture what's considered normal what's considered not normal how do they understand symptoms versus how i may understand symptoms in my culture ulan lives in a pretty patriarchal society and she's getting ready to meet a suitor right now to be married to a future husband as a counselor I am treating mental health symptoms, and it's important for me to know the whole person to better understand the connection between what they are going on in their life and their environment and how that impacts their symptoms so I can best treat them. I think this is the second song in the movie. I think it's called My Reflection, and this is a struggle that many of us can relate to. It's the, the constant battle between the, the pressure of outside forces for us to be and act a certain way when we're not quite sure who we are on the inside, but it's definitely not aligned with what's being portrayed on the outside. I think Mulan's dad does a really good job of comforting her. Obviously, the thing with the suitor didn't go so well, and he uses a metaphor for one of the late buds of the blossoms and how it's gonna grow to be one of the most beautiful ever hey i get it easier said than done however if you find yourself getting too frustrated or too upset about this particular thing maybe it's worthwhile taking a step back and analyzing a little bit further what's really going on here so you can move forward makes sense not even a few minutes later we have a family argument I'm sure many of us can relate to families and arguments. It's pretty common, especially when two parties have different beliefs. My impression of this argument between Mulan and Fazu is Mulan just wants her father to understand how fearful she feels for his life right now, going off to war at his age with his injuries. Fazu is also not a great listener. He's kind of made up his mind, and this is how it's going to be. Both these two are not communicating well, and that's going to lead Mulan to get on her horse and go off to war instead of Fazu. Deuces. First look at Mushu, played by Eddie Murphy in the Mulan movie. I'm really intrigued by people's body language, how they respond to certain situations, the context of the conversation. You can learn a lot by someone's nonverbal cues. Usually when I'm looking at people's body language, I'm looking for consistencies and discrepancies. Is what they're saying and doing lining up with the way their body is acting right now? If it's not, I'm going to question it to better understand it further and see if they're aware of it themselves. Getting some good body language from Yao here, and 
just moments before making these faces. Mulan didn't even say the word to the guy, and Yao's already like, what are you looking at? Usually when I work with clients, youth, or adolescents on anger, there's usually a symptom I look for called hostile interpretation, and Yao is textbook that right now. Great grounding technique by Chen Po here. Two key elements to grounding techniques are reduce blood pressure and control breathing. It's really awesome to find good coping skills for situations like this in the moment that you can just apply right away. Unfortunately, this doesn't last long. I think Mushu calls Yao a limp noodle at some point. And clearly, that's a triggering word, and Yao's going to get defensive, and this leads to a fall-on brawl. This goes both ways. Yao definitely needs to learn some emotional regulation and not to take things so personally. Mushu also needs to be more self-aware about the intent and possible repercussions of the words he's choosing to use. Okay, now things are going to get a little bit darker. Obviously, war comes with death and sacrifice. But this moment's different. This moment's unique for Mulan because of this doll. I'm not quite sure what it is, but this makes me think back to earlier in the movie when there was a little girl getting picked on by two boys and Mulan helped her get her doll back. And Mulan's obviously upset about this, but more than just regular grief, there's a sentimental piece to this, and I would inquire more about the meaning about this moment for her. Now as good as time as any to touch on Shang, who just learned that he lost his father in war. At the same time, he's still at war and he's got to lead his troops. He's grieving hardcore right now. He may not show it, he may not be the most in tune of his emotions, but he just lost his father. At some point in time, he's going to want to address this unresolved grief that he can't get to at this moment. Sure enough, Mulan suffers an injury, fighting the Huns, and it's revealed that she is a woman. Now, you and I are probably thinking, okay, what's the big deal? Well, in this culture, this society, the norms say... Women do not go to war. And now Shang's trust is broken. And that's treason and that leads to death. She could have died right here. But the mind's an interesting thing. Sometimes we make exceptions for our core beliefs. And Shang made one in this moment to spare Mulan's life. Because Mulan saved his life earlier. Despite his core beliefs of... What his thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and culture say to do. I think it's pretty fair to say that Mulan's in a dark place right now. Life's pretty low for her right now. Not a lot's going her way. She's alone, distraught. Feels like she's letting herself and her family down. These are pretty clear symptoms of depression. And you know what? Sometimes... In our darkest moments, we're open to the greatest change. And I really like what Mushu does here at the end. You know what? It's going to be okay. And I'm going to sit with you in the dark. We don't need to put a spot positive spin on this right now. Let's sit here, feel these feelings, let them ride, and then we'll move on. Despite the heavy darkness that Mulan's been experiencing, she's still determined... To figure out herself and find something worthwhile within her. Something about her core beliefs, her thoughts, her actions are all consistent. They're all linear because she has not let up in this pursuit despite the challenges and barriers. Again, it's just a movie, but the Emperor, cool as a cucumber. He's got his emotions in check. He's focused, he's not overly animated, he's got solid emotional regulation here. He's probably practiced it for many years. 
What's that? A plan to save the Emperor? I'm down. So again, we see Shang put aside his core beliefs and his social cultural norms. Obviously to save the Emperor. So if Mulan is on board with that and she's got a plan, he's going to align himself with Mulan. And sure enough, it pays off. They set the Emperor and trust is regained. And Shane is on Mulan's side now. And Mulan is obviously overwhelmed with emotion. To have her self be validated by all of freaking China, that's a huge boost to self-esteem. Shane is not the sharpest tool in the shed, but the Emperor is about to drop some knowledge. And it's something we can all relate to. Adversity, struggle, barriers, challenges. We've all gone through them in some capacity. Gone through them is the key. Maybe it wasn't perfect or pretty or ideal, but we somehow got through it. We were successful at getting through it. And that's what I want you to recognize the next time you are faced with adversity. I got through something like this before. I can do it again. I believe in you. Some elements I want to take away from this movie in regards to mental health are the nature versus nurture debate is very heavy in this movie. There's also a lot of conflict in regards to gender roles and social norms. In regards to Milan's character, she clearly displays symptoms of anxiety, usually categorized with extreme nervousness, difficulty with worry, and fear of worst case scenarios. Uh, we saw this with her preparation for the suitor. We saw this when we thought her dad was going to go off to war. It's also connected to her sense of self. Her sense of self wasn't clear early on, but at the same time, it was in conflict with what society and her family expectations wanted of her, and she felt lost and didn't know how to move forward with that. Now, as her therapist, I would say let's take some more calculated steps before joining the military. However, changing up her environment did wonders for her. It allowed her to further explore and identify elements about herself that she couldn't do back home. And that allowed her to have a better relationship with herself, who she needs to be, and how to fit that in with the culture that she lives in. And ultimately grew and became stronger as a person because of it. If you made it this far, great. There's definitely different directions I could have taken this. Other points I could have emphasized. If you got something out of this, that's awesome. If you have some feedback, feel free to share. Thanks, guys.